Hello everyone. Today we are going to do another very standard greedy problem known as activity selection problem. So the problem statement is we are given n activities with their standard start and end time. The task is to find the solution set having maximum number of non-conflicting activities that can be executed within the given time. Assuming only a single activity can be performed at a given time. Oh, too much English, huh? What do you understand? I mean, when I read it for the first time, I'm like, what is it written? Although not that very hard, but yeah, still we can format it a little easier. So, question is very simple. You are given some activities. What do I mean by activity? You are given start and end time of an activity. Okay. At one time, you can do one activity, and you have to find the maximum number of activities that you can do. So. What's the best way to understand anything? Why an example, right? So let's just take an example. So let's say this is the array given to me, start array and end array. So first activity or zero activity starts at time one and set time two. First activity starts at time three and set time four. Second activity starts at time zero and set time six. So on and so forth. So just to make this easy, what I've done is I have uh, drawn these activities. As the number line, so zeroth activity happening in one to two, first activity happening in three to four, then second activity happening zero to six, so on and so forth. Let me change the page style, so maybe we can have just normal lines. Huh. First of all, uh, let's try to see what is the solution. So what all activities, maximum activities that I can do. So I think I can do zeroth activity. Then I can do first activity. Now I cannot pick second activity, right? I mean, and initially I did not choose this one because then instead of this, because instead of this, I can do two activities. Then just because I have this, I think just to make the diagram beautiful, they both are starting at five. Okay. Now this is ending at four. So I think I can pick any of these two. So let's do one thing. Uh, let's pick which activity. If I pick this activity, that's correct numbering five, two, nine, it is fifth activity. So if I choose this activity, I would be able to do only this one. Instead, let's do these two activities. So what we can do is we can do these two activities. So total, I think answer is four. So total four activities can be done for this scenario, right? Total four activities we can do. These are the four activities, whatever you do, whatever order you pick, you cannot do more than four activities. Now, when we see this question, and I initially mentioned it's a greedy question without even that. What is the first thing that comes to our mind is let's try to do what we will take our approach. We will pick the activity having least duration first. Sounds like a plan. Pick the activity having least duration first. So shortest activity to complete first then so on and so forth. So I have an example for that in this one. This is first activity, second activity, third activity. This is taking four units of time four units of time and three units of time. So what are you going to do? If you keep this approach that you will pick activity with least duration, you will pick this activity. So let's say we pick this activity. Now, what's the problem with this picking this? I cannot pick first and third activity. But is the answer really one? Can you do only one activity? No, right? You can do these two activities. So this approach is wrong. So this approach of Choosing activity with least duration fails. What else we can do? So let's move on to the next idea. We might get pick the activity with the smallest start time first. So activity which is starting early, I will pick that up. So let's start. These are the activities. So I will pick this activity first activity first because it is starting early and then I cannot choose these two the other two activities because they are conflicting with the first activity. Correct. So I can do only one activity, but is the answer really one? answer is two. So this approach also fails. Haha. <laughs> what else? The only third option left. What is the option? Pick the activity ending first. First. Okay. The activity whose end time is short. Ending. Uh, we will pick that one first. So let's try this approach again. I'm not going to why this will work or this won't work for this idea. Let's just see. So what we will do, we'll pick out of all the activities. This is the activity ending first. So let's pick this one. After this, I have these three activities among them. What I can do, uh, I can pick this activity next. So this activity will be picked. 
now out of these two activities this activity's ending time is first so this should be picked but it is already conflicting with my second activity and remember we can do only one activity at a time so this cannot be chosen now this is left let's choose this so we got three activities and i think for this one answer is three so this worked but will it really work or did i smartly picked, exa picked an example in which this is working so actually th this will work this greedy idea will work and the reasoning behind that is you pick an activity which is ending first so that in your time zone you will have more time left to complete pending activities right which was not the case when you pick the activity with starting time first that doesn't mean it was ending first also right when you pick an activity which is starting early that doesn't mean it will end early also for example you have you saw this that it was starting early but it was it was ending uh, at the end or most late instead if i pick an activity which is ending first i will have more time left to complete more activities right and which is what i want so the idea is pick the activity with increasing order of ending time so means what the activity which is ending first pick it first to get more time to complete the pending activities so let's just see let's just try to do it for this one so these are the activities and i have drawn them on number line so what will i do i will pick the activity ending first so this is the activity which will get picked first so we can do this now what next this activity has the next smallest ending time so let's pick this one then this activity has the next earliest ending time but it is conflicting from my activities which i already did so i cannot choose this one now what next this activity this activity has smallest ending time after this one so let's pick this one what next both these activities are ending at the same time but this i cannot choose right because this is already conflicting with one of the activities that i have chosen so i will pick this activity so for this array this start and end time this set of activities i can do total four activities which is my answer and this was the initial example so you saw this is it four activities you can do again the answer is reasoning is very simple you pick an activity ending first because that will give you more time so uh, to complete all the pending activities now let's move towards the code part first of all i need a pair class why i need a pair class because i want my start and end time to be clubbed together and uh, whenever i mean basically i can sort the end array right i am given a start array and an end array for start time and end time if i sort the end array how would i know that what is the respective start time of that corresponding end time so for that i need to make a pair out of them so for that i have created a pair class very simple now then this is just a comparator custom comparator i have implemented why so that i can get a uh, i can sort the pairs now i don't have to sort an array i need to sort pairs i want the smallest pair i mean the pair with earliest end time and corresponding to that a start time so let's create an array of pairs pair array let's call it activities and then is equal to new pair of size n and then what so i've created a pair array for all the activity i'm going to store now let's store them for int i is equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus so activities of i for every activity i need to store i mean every pair i need to store new pair and uh, each pair will contain the corresponding for one activity start and end time so basically now i have n pairs every pair contains start and end time of an activity now i need to sort them up so arrays arrays dot sort activities so active all the activities got sorted so let's traverse over the array now in the array I have all the pairs stored and the pair with smallest end time will come first. So for int i is equal to 0, i is less than n, i plus plus. And then what else do you I need? I need answer variable to store the final answer and it int last activity end. When did the last activity end? So I can decide whether the new upcoming activity I can choose or not. Because let's say your last activity ended at time 6 and new activity which has a later end time. Uh, let's say at 9 but has a early start time you cannot pick that right if your current activity ended at 6 and a new activity which ends at 9 obviously the new activity will have a later on end time but let's say its start was at 3 you cannot pick that right 
you have to make sure your new activity start time is at least greater than the last activity's end time which you picked so then pretty simple i will traverse over the array now let's get the activities one by one pair activity is equal to activities of i and then what if current activity that you have dot start time it has to be greater than last activity ended last activity end time then only i can choose it so and now the last activity end when last activity end will become the new activity that you have picked it's end time and your answer will become plus plus now in some other portals you will get it set greater than equal to here it's only greater than because uh, they say when current activity ended at 2 you cannot start a new activity at 2 you have to start it at 3 that is why i'm picking greater than okay and then finally i can write an answer hope everything is fine then maybe let's compile <laughs> uh, i got in compilation error activity spelling mistake so let's correct it up what else activity dot start last activity end the spelling i have made wrong last ac oh i have written activity activity last ac activity end okay control v and then control v so let's run it up hopefully this time should run uh oh, oh, one more okay this ran yeah this ran so current output match match the expected output let's submit it up let's see what happens when we submit it and it got submitted very nice so let's come to time complexity this is order of n work here we are sorting so n log n this is another n order of n work so overall n log n and coming to space complexity since i'm using creating a n length array so that will be order of n so that's all for today my dear friends thank you so much hope you enjoyed see you bye bye take care for the next question